Welcome back to Post Time. We're up to the Colts division of the Rickshaw Rumble. So let's meet the horses and the drivers before we head behind the gate. Blake is a first time rumbler. Okay, he's gonna be the horse. Now tell me the story. Now you and your friend Jason Lynch decided you were gonna do it together, but you kind of got the raw end of the deal, right? Yes, yes I did. Uh, he was supposed to run with me, but he's riding. Miranda, you're also a first time rumbler. How do you feel about your horse? <laughs> you're scared he's gonna kick or you're just scared of finishing last or mm -hmm. yes Tyler Benson how do you feel um not real sure we'll have to see I got a little bit of a late notice on this one now have you seen a rumble before yeah I've watched them okay so you know what to expect just run fast yep that's it okay, all right. you know, how are you feeling though about your horse I should yeah, ask you that I mean as far as are you overly confident or just about think maybe you're, I don't know, midway five to one or something? I bet in myself, so I'm pretty confident. All right, well that is good to hear. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Corey Callahan is not in it this year because he is my expert handicapper. Welcome to Corey's Corner. All right, Corey, give me your pick. Uh, I really think that Tyler Davis is gonna be able to overcome the outside post. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to, I, the rail's a good spot, but I just don't think uh, Justin Skinner's got, him, got it in him anymore, so I'm going to go with the outside horse. Yeah, you know, the talk on Facebook was that Tyler was really worried he was going to be like a trailer behind Jason, so that's got to at least be better having the outside. Well, I think it's Justin Skinner. Oh, did I say Jason? Yeah, because yeah, Jason, because Jason has a broken ankle, so he won't be racing today. <laughs> but Justin <laughs> is racing, so you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's why I have Corey on the show because he has to keep me in check. See, you're so like um great, like uh, for multiple well, uses. Corey's corner, you know what I mean? I'm the expert handicapper. Yes, it's so glad to have you. It's so glad to have you here <laughs> once again. What am I supposed to be saying to you? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk to another team. <laughs> Last year's champ in the Colts Open, Tyler Davis is here. Last year we had a little bit of trash talking going on, but I think that you put everybody in your in their place last year. Uh, yeah, I did my best. All right. What's this year going to be like? Well, I don't know. Uh, I got handicapped a nine hole, so it's going to be a little bit tougher for me, but I think I'll be all right. All right, what about your driver? Tell me about your driver. She's like uh, not very experienced. Any worries there? No, you don't got to be experienced when you're sitting behind a fast horse. All right, yeah, there's some trash talking going on. Montrell, you've had Amber as a driver once before. What is going to make tonight different? Is she more experienced? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, I was trying to find somebody I like, but she said that she couldn't fit in my color, so I think I made a bad decision. Yeah. Oh, well, it's too close to the rumble. There's no driver changes. Now, you have been in USA Today this year. You've had world records as a driver. But wouldn't you say like a rickshaw rumble win would probably top any kind of milestone that you've had in 2011? Definitely. This horse coming out of the George T. Jr. stable, Amber, that's got to make you feel very confident. Very confident. I'm very confident. Because he's always sending out winners. Have Did you go to the barn yourself and train this one? Um, no, but I think he's going to win. She's a typical catch driver already. She's not even going to the barn to train them. She's just sitting in the bike and going. Justin is a brave soul. Last year's rumble was hard on you. Tell me what happened. I pulled my hamstring about halfway down the track. And the next day, I heard you couldn't even walk. Is that right? <laughs> yes, that's true. Why are you back for more torture? I'm not very, I'm not the brightest one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the place where the sharp tools are. <laughs> okay, the driver, Megan Thornton. Now, I'm a little surprised you decided to use this horse again. Um, why did you want to give him another shot? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions to be answered tonight. Neither one of them know why they're in the rumble. <laughs> Shay? Last year, tell me about your rumble experience. Uh, I fell. I didn't even start. You felt like square out of the bike, right? Yeah. You know, I wish we had like five cameras here that night because it was so funny. <laughs> it was like a $10,000 like America's Funniest Home Videos fall out of the bike. Um, so why are you back? To win. All right. You're going to redeem yourself, right? Mm-hmm. 
All right, now I'm gonna scoot over here. Oh, I do wanna give some props to my mom. These are her fancy colors that she used to drive in. All right, Jason. Um, now, I do wanna say, it was not the horse's fault last year, right? Nah, equipment problem. The Warnicks are back now for the Colts open pace here. Okay, Blake, uh, now is your horse going to be a better horse or going to be a better driver? Um, probably a better driver than a horse. <laughs> now, um, how's the marriage going? Good. It's really good. <laughs> Because <laughs> I want to make sure, even though one of you doesn't win the rumble, that it's all good in the end. It's okay in the end. <laughs> There's. I don't know. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. As long as they don't finish last, we're okay. Okay, as long as they don't finish last, okay. In the Colts Open, this is a very special team to me. First of all, my husband is the horse. Okay, honey, did you do anything special this week to get ready? Not at all. All right. Just hope the driver's prepared to have a few tricks up her sleeve because I get pouty out there. <laughs> what about like you're worried at all? It's your mom that's driving you. Is she gonna like take out any frustrations on you by any chance? Maybe like something you did when you were a teenager? No, I was perfect as a young child. <laughs> and you're perfect as a husband, baby. All right, mom, what do you think? Do you feel good about this year? Because you've been a horse, right? The past two horse for two years. This year I'm getting to ride. And it's about time. Okay, how do you think? Your chances, you know, tell me about your horse a little bit. Yeah, my horse has had an eye injury, and I, I hope he can see straight. I'm here with the 2011 Miss Delaware, Maria Cahill. And Maria, this is like your second time at the track. I can't keep you away. You can't keep me away. I'll keep coming back whether you want me to or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like to hear. But this time you get to go on the track. Now, do you have any idea what to expect tonight? Like what you're getting yourself into? I've heard a couple rumors, but I won't believe them until I actually get out there on the track and see them for myself. <laughs> Rumors like your driver, or I should say your horse, is going to fall down? I've heard that. I've heard that I'm going to be the horse, and we'll see. I'm wearing some, you know, four-inch heels, so I'm not sure how that will go, but here they are in all of their glory. <laughs> <laughs> but we can run better in heels than we can in sneakers, right? It's a pageant girl thing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure, too. You are going to be in the Rickshaw Rumble tonight, Victor. Is it true that you will only be a horse for royalty? Is that what the deal is? That, pretty much, yeah. I think you got it You got it right on the nose. That's the only way I'm participating if it's, if it's like that. How do you feel tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm getting a little bit loose, getting, getting mentally prepared, and uh, I think we're ready to roll. I just hope my driver's all right. We have an insight now to our Colts in the Rumble event. Now let's take a look at the field as a whole. Once again, I would like to thank all the runners, also known as the horses, as well as their drivers and their sponsors for making this race and the whole Rickshaw Rumble night a big success. The friends of the standard bread sport on Delmarva are wonderful. Thanks so much. They're off from the inside. Here comes Tyler Davis out for that lead. Tyler Davis is flying on the outside fence as they near the wire. Down toward the inside. Jason Talley and Shea Hayes. After all these years, tell us how sweet it was. It's real sweet. <laughs> I thought he was going to get me on the outside, but I was like, uh, -uh I looked over. I was like, not this year. I kicked in another gear. My driver, he started driving me at the end. <laughs> Brought me to that victory. Now, what was your secret this time? Just the way I knew he was going to win. <laughs> show, us the, show us the trophy. Show me. Stuff. Show you big old Jack. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Whose mantle is that going on? That's his mantle. Driver of the year right there. <laughs> Congratulations to the winner. You know, Vic Kirby couldn't pull off a victory in that division. But for being such a good sport, we all know he wasn't going to win going into the race. <laughs> We're going to see him switch roles in this one and watch him get to this victory lane. In this event, from the Kent County Half Mile Harness Track, we've got a group of Delaware-owned or bred gals going to post. Keep your eye on number five, 
Eye Turtle and driver Vic Kirby. They're looking for their second straight visit to the winner's circle. They're off. There goes Ace of Aces out for that lead. Hokey Spirit, All American Caress. Racing up and forth is Tiamat, followed by Eye Turtle. Then it's nonpartisan Penthouse View and Chardon's Debutante. They race around the turn toward the back stretch. Ace of Aces has the lead with Hokey Spirit coming up on the outside. They race up the back stretch. Hokey Spirit with Ace of Aces. All American Caress is third. Tiamat got away in fourth. Racing fifth, that's Eye Turtle. Then comes nonpartisan Penthouse View and Chardon's Debutante. 28 to 1 fifth, the opening quarter. Hokey Spirit has the lead, but back up to retake is Ace of Aces. Hokey Spirit back to second. All American Caress is there in third, followed by Tiamat in fourth. Coming to the outside from fifth is I Turtle. Nonpartisan follows I Turtle. Penthouse View and Chardon's Debutante are at the end as they come over toward the half. It's Ace of Aces, followed by Hokey Spirit. I Turtle races up on the outside, followed by Nonpartisan. All American Caress is back to fifth, outside sixth. Penthouse View, then it's Tiamat, and Chardon's Debutante out from last, 57-4. and four. Around the turn, once again toward the back stretch, Ace of Aces, joined by I Turtle. Outside is nonpartisan third, Hokey Spirit drops back fourth. And then comes Penthouse View as they race midway up the back stretch. I Turtle from the outside is up after the lead as they go to three quarters. I Turtle is up to get the lead. That's Ace of Aces back to the second outside, nonpartisan third, then it's Penthouse View. 126 and 3, and I Turtle has gotten clear, begins to move away, has opened up three lengths. As they come over toward the top of the stretch, I Turtle by four now, turning for home. Ace of Aces is there, going to the rail, nonpartisan. Penthouse View is on the outside, followed by Chardon's Debutante. Coming through the stretch, I Turtle is all alone. It's I Turtle in front. Into second now is Penthouse View. I Turtle, Penthouse View, Chardon's Debutante, 155 and 1. I Turtle makes a bold first up bid to win by three lengths in 155 and 1. The six year old is owned by Beth Kamak and trained by Beth's husband, DW. Second was Penthouse View, who is almost 30 to 1. And the show money was awarded to Chardon's Debutante. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. And you know, the Rickshaw Rumble is a very exciting night at the track but there's all kinds of great things happening all week long at Harrington Raceway. The live racing schedule is Sunday through Thursday with a post time of 5.30 p.m. Also, you can check out great simulcasting action at Harrington Raceway in Murphy's Race and Sportsbook all week long. Whether you love harness or thoroughbred or both, check out the excitement coming to you coast to coast from noon to midnight seven days a week. Sundays are also a great night to come out to the track and bring the whole family to Harrington Raceway for free family entertainment. Join Snippy Doodles the Clown for balloon art and face painting. And Wednesday is a great night to come up to the clubhouse for dinner. Snow crab legs are featured on the buffet menu in the clubhouse. So you aren't into seafood. Believe me, there's something for everybody on this delicious menu. Don't forget there's always free parking and free admission at Harrington Raceway. For more information, call 302-398-RACE or visit them on the web at harringtonraceway.com. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you up the track and God bless. My stress? How's my stress, Diane? <laughs> How'd you do, one eye? Okay, I felt good about my performance. And what about you? I'd love to talk right now, but I really can't. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna faint. It's gonna be the booze. Alright, you guys are good, you're set. You guys are alright. My horse broke down! That's the second time it's happened. Is this where all the cool rumblers are hanging out? You know it. All right, Allie. Good job.